guys, welcome to our next stop. And as you can tell by this first wheel, we're at Fun Spot. This is Orlando, and we just got off of uh, that gnarly set of go-kart tracks up there, and those over there. So, Dan, these these go-karts are crazy. They're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you haul like serious butt into the turns. On one of them over there, you literally start drifting around. Yeah. Awesome. So, on the first one, my first set of go-karts, like right off the gate, I got was slammed. Right off, yeah. Like slammed. Let, let, me, let me give the play-by-play. Yeah. -play. So we're side by side. Taylor is on the left side of me. We go into the first turn, which is the right. He tries to cut in front of me. Okay. So my cart fishtails him. He's now sideways. A guy comes full speed, bam, right into the side of T-bones him. And I, like, you I got, got a whiplash. Yeah, you got hit really hard. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Um, so uh, what's crazy is, I mean, so many times it feels like people spin out or something, so they can control the gas and how you can turn it on and off. And so that, at that point, they just like stop all the vehicles, go and turn everyone around or re uh, replace the carts or whatever, and then they let you go. So that happened like four times. Last time we had four different times where we were going around and we got stopped. Yeah. Normally that doesn't happen, but I think we right. had really aggressive. We were, uh, yeah. So then we did the second one. It didn't get stopped at all. And that, that one was pretty smooth sailing, lots of fun. Um, their go, their go-karts are good. So um, in case you couldn't tell, it's it's probably, uh, I want to say around like uh, 11 o'clock. Um, I mean, we came from SeaWorld earlier today. Um, and you can tell us, I think a lot of people come to Front Spot when after the, the park is, closed. yeah, after yeah. the parks are closed, because Universal closed at 9, SeaWorld closed at 7. Um, so pretty good location well, to come. They do have a deal that's going on, like right now, it may not be by the time, you know, later on that people are watching this video, but after 6 p.m. they had a thing where $29. Yeah. You can come and enjoy all the rides, when normally it's 45 something, so. Right, exactly. You're not spending a whole bunch of money, and from 6 o'clock until midnight, that's six hours you can be here. Seriously. And you can do everything, so. Yeah, they're, they're open late, so that's, it, it's a good deal. Um, and it's real nice because I, I was telling earlier when you have all these really well themed parks in Orlando and then you have Fun Spot which is kind of your true classic almost carnival like yeah. amusement park so they it's found their niche you know the FEC that grew up the family fun center that decided oh we're gonna put in some big rides yeah and they did and it worked out phenomenal right because they're known for the go-karts now they have white lightning they have um, Freedom Mind Flyer. Blower. They just built Mind Blower, which we're going to be riding tomorrow morning. They just um, bought the park in Georgia. They just so. bought a park, guys. Yeah, there's going to be hopefully more fun spots out there. So I will say this. Yeah. I've been coming here for years and years and years. And I've steadily seen an increase in the amount of people coming to these parks. Yeah, good. Over at Kissimmee, the place used to be a ghost town. Since they've added Mind Blower every single night, that thing has a full queue. Oh, there, so that's it's, great. It's already helping them out. But yeah. It's nice to see these bars coming back and they're thriving so they're doing very well now yeah seriously yeah so prop, props to everyone at fun spot they they know what they're doing i i think it's great what's awesome is uh you can totally see fun spot when you're at universal on like dragon shows and stuff so it's almost like everyone's at universal and they're like what's that over there over we should here, go I... we should go there and so when you're in the queue for white lightning or especially at the top you can see like hulk and um dr doom's fear ball so it's, it's pretty awesome actually um so we just walked from one end of the park and we're now pretty close to the other. That's that's where you enter over there. These are kind of the turns house. We're just gonna go hop on White Lightning. Did a, did a front row ride earlier and then also did Freedom Flyer front row ride. So gonna go get some other rides because I think hopefully now that it's a bit later. <laughs> What the jump scare just happened? I don't know. Yeah, that I was. I realized this was a what, Yeah, what the haunt? Yeah, what the haunt? <laughs> yeah, this man, they, they got some good scare zones here. Yeah, that, man, that was. The scare actors are Yeah, the either. scare actors are pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Big props to them. Now they got a haunt to. Man, man, the Halloween Horror Nights is nothing on yeah, that. Yeah, nothing. that was pretty good. I'm expecting to see a slider just come Yeah, right yeah, right we're. Yeah, yeah, man, they love this. So. <laughs> That's great. All right, so we're here at White Lightning. We'll go ahead and see sign off but look at this thing go it's awesome it's a great ride so thanks for tuning in to tomorrow's vlog which is from fun spot kissimmee and we'll catch you guys later